What's going on, Bruce? Ladies and gentlemen, y'all acted like I got married or had a kid. Seriously though, thank you very much. Yes, I did finally pull the bane of my existence, Palais Evolved Magikarp, literally off six packs on Friday night. Thank you very much for your response. I made a post in the community tab on YouTube and I also made another post on Instagram. You guys literally, I it, it's funny when I, I've bitched and moaned and I've complained about that card for so long, but then also I've used that card as a teaching tool, talking about hits per rarity tier, pull rates, uh, why a certain, you know, certain IRs from certain sets have the potential to be so valuable and far more valuable than SIRs and other sets and even in that same set. Um, so I talk about Magikarp a lot to, as a reference and because I've never pulled it and it was like the last card I needed for the master set. So to pull it, that is absolutely... Anyway, thank you guys very much. We have a lot to talk about today, so I'm going to hurry up and get right into it. Today we are covering 21 total cards, maybe 22 actually, four, no, 15 illustration rares, 5 of which are Paldea Evolved illustration rares, okay? So Paldea Evolved is just doing so well, and it's still doing well, and it continues to do well, and so a very large amount of these illustration rares are Paldea Evolved. And we're not even going to talk about Raichu or Tyranitar. These are like some new ones you may not have known are also going up in value, okay? Um, and then also we're going to hit two SIRs. We're going to hit one secret rare and not the type of secret rare you're, you might be thinking. One full art, one V-star, one sun and moon tag team card, and an alt art. Okay, so 21 total cards and uh, yeah. We need to hurry up and get right into this because, like I said, it's just a lot. And, yeah, I don't want to waste any more time. So, here we go. First of all, guys, I think it's very, very important that if you're in my position and you're talking about Pokemon cards, okay? You're talking about value. You're talking about buying stuff. You're talking about saving money. And you're saying things that could potentially cost people money. I think it's very important to look back on the things you said a week ago, a month ago, in previous videos and check yourself you know was I right was I wrong like I'm not someone who's gonna say something and then be like if I was wrong oh well that was last week anytime I'm wrong I'm going to identify I'm gonna know okay cuz I look back on all these predictions all these things I say and I think it's very important to be accountable when I am wrong okay so real quick let's look at some things Ralts from base set I said it was a guaranteed lock to go up in price the thing is I said it was like rather immediate, like in the next week or two, like go up way in price. And instead, you know, Ralts, it was about $13.50, almost $14 when I said that. Now, here we are about 10 days later. This chart looks incredible. It is absolutely going up. Yes, I was right. But at the same time, I think I gave the impression that it was going to go up even sooner and more aggressively, which it didn't. Instead, it did perfectly what we actually do want to happen which is I tell you the viewer I think this is a great investment at this price and I think it's about to go up now you had the last 10 days to get your alts at 1350 to $14 now look at this chart now it is clearly going up and I still believe it is going to fall in that 20 to $30 range for all the reasons I cited in that Ralts video or in that video where I clearly talk about Ralts okay so was I wrong no, but it, it took a little longer to go up, okay? But this is what we want to see. We don't want to see what happened with uh, Steelix, where I, I said it's going to explode. Several thousand people watched that video. It doubled. That's not what I intend to have happen, and I'm glad that this is very healthy, very gradual, and you've had plenty of time to act upon the Ralts, okay? All right, now Eevee. This is a card last week. I told you guys, whatever you do, do not buy at $48, $49 because I truly believe it'll go down. This I was absolutely wrong about because I said I truly believe it will go down to $20, $25, okay? And then when it hit $39, I was like, all right, maybe we'll see it at $32. Well, guess what? Let's take a look at the one month. This EV right now is back up over $40 and it's flattening out and it has higher lows. So to be honest, now looking at this chart, and I've had a lot of people talk to me over the last couple weeks about this EV feeling differently than I, okay? So this EV, you know, I just realized, 
This Eevee is the only illustration rare from this entire era that I don't own. Now, great, oh my god. You know what, I'm gonna go buy this Eevee. I had no idea, okay, so this IR is literally the only IR I don't own in the entire era, crazy. Yeah, I never even thought about that, but now that I own Magikarp, it's like, oh, the possibilities are endless. All right, sorry, but anyway, so this Eevee is holding strong and it's showing strength above $40. And so my new, my new uh, thought is, you know, I don't think it'll go down into the early, you know, low 30s. And all along to begin with, I had said, I think this is a future 70 or $80 card. So long term, I've always loved this Eevee. I just thought there was gonna be a little more of a drop down to get it, get it you know, at a better value. Um, but now $40 is looking like this is where it might stay. Cause you know, I'm just being honest, I was wrong. It didn't go down near as much as I thought. All right, let's, let's move on. Magikarp, don't need to worry about you anymore, thank God. Still going up, talked about this a lot in the past, but uh, here we go, it, it's doing something. Now we should definitely watch and see what how Magikarp handles this. Is this just a little, a little fake out and Magikarp, next thing we know a month from now is $200? I don't know. All I know is it's no longer of concern to me because I own the card. Thank freaking God. But yeah, Magikarp is doing a little something. It's finally not going straight up, okay guys? All right. So there's Magikarp. Now, for the rest of these, we're going in order. I talked about Ralt from base set. Now we're, I had to hit up Eevee because I had to tell you I was wrong. But now we're gonna go Paldea, Obsidian, 151, Temporal, we're gonna go uh, Paradox Rift, Temporal, Twilight Masquerade, I'm gonna go in order. And then anything that's not an IR is gonna be at the end. So here we go, here's more Paldea Evolved, Illustration Rares, doing crazy things that they hadn't done before. Foy Coco. So Foy Coco, guys, look at this. We got Foy Coco up to twelve dollars and thirty cents. Let's look at the one month. Now uh, let's look at the one year. So highest ever twelve fifty eight, and then a whole lot of floating around, not doing too much. But if this card cracks thirteen, that's an all time high. And then who knows? I'm just saying, Foy Coco is essentially at his or her all-time high right now. Foy Coco on the one month is up pretty good. Here's another one, Sprigatito, guys. Sprigatito, I believe this is an all-time high. Let's take a look real quick. Yes, Sprigatito is absolutely doing better than it's ever done. So Sprigatito, uh, just about in the last beginning of the month, up here, 13, and then look at this. Test, 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 and yeah. We'll see what it does from here, but that looks like a pretty decent chart for Sprigatito. All right, here's some definite, I believe, new ones for sure. Like, look at this. So Heracross, who, who would have thought Heracross from Paldea, right? Look at that, look at that. Heracross is like 12.50 now. What the heck? What's available, 14 bucks? What the? But yeah, so Heracross, I do love this card. I got plenty of these in Japanese. I've um, got two in English, yeah. Heracross is up, another Paldea Evolved, Illustration Rare, making moves to the upside, and this is by far the most he's ever been up, like by far, far. He's definitely at a, oh, ooh, yep, he's at all-time high. So Heracross, good for you. Pseudo, Woodo, where's it at, where's it at? I don't see it, I don't know, but apparently there's some Pokemon in there. <laughs> All right, so Pseudo Woodo, check this out. Also, another one, here we go again. Pseudo Woodo, bang, almost $13. And it's just in the last couple days, it went from 8 to, it went up 25% just in the last, like, couple of days. Oh my god. Alright, so there we go. That was more craziness out of Magikarp. And then Foy Coco, Spregatito, Heracraso, and uh, Sudowoodo, okay? Now, Nine Tails Obsidian Flames. So in, the, in my last video, I let y'all know that Cleffa, for the first time ever, actually did jump ahead of Ninetales. That lasted like one afternoon. Now Cleffa's comfortably like a dollar behind Ninetales, and Ninetales just kept going up. So yeah, they were neck and neck for Obsidian Flames' premier illustration rare, and now it is clearly Ninetales. And again, that PSA 10 Ninetales is inching on up, it's inching on up. It probably has had some recent over 100 sales. I'm not going to look it up right now, but it's very, very, very edging towards $100 PSA 10, and yeah, now it's a $10 double digit illustration rare. Good for you, Obsidian Flames. Okay, 
So, and guess what? I got another one, and this is a little little big move, a big little move, okay? Caesar, the card we all know should be worth way more than it is, um, is finally going up. So what is that, 469, 469, 469, all right. Let's look at the one month. Bang, I think, let's see, is this an all-time high even though it's not even five bucks? No, okay, so 547. All right, so that's what we're gonna look for, guys. On the one month, if this crosses over 550, who knows where Caesar's gonna end up? Probably eight or nine bucks. I'm just saying, Caesar is doing some cool shit, all right? Back off. All right, now let's go to 151. 151 Charmander is doing very well, okay? Charmander right now is up to $31. I'm sure it's been at 31 before, right? 33 January. It's the highest it's been since basically February. Let's look at the three month. Do do do. 21, you could have had it just last month. But again, all the way back up north of 30. Going from hanging out in $20 range for a while and then crossing north into 30, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So Charmander doing very good. A lot of the other, um, all the starters are doing pretty good, but they're kind of going sideways doing good, whereas Charmander's still kind of going up and doing good. Uh, but here's another one Pika Pika. Pikachu, why is that so flat? There it goes. Pikachu uh, is basically a $20 card now. It never really was. I mean, was it? Yeah, I guess it was. September, I just, I just always feel like it's always been like $17 or $18. That's what it feels like. I don't know what that's about. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's clearly in the last month, definitely that looks good for a quick little 30 day. Um, and yeah, about to be 20 bucks. Who knows? I don't know. It's, I mean, it's it's a great Pikachu card. It probably should. I don't know. Who would be surprised if Pikachu IR was $25? I don't think anyone would be. All right. What do we got next? Little Magby from The Rift. For those of you that know, you know this is my, my favorite Scarlet and Violet set. Magby is, let's see here. I want to see if it's all-time high. Yeah, per, yeah, yeah. Magby's at all-time high. There we go. So let's check out Magby here. <clears throat> a little stair step, stair step, stair step at 818. Most people's, a lot of people love this card. A lot of people, I remember when Par when Paradox Rift came out and no one knew what anything was going to be. Everyone was like, I do love that Magby. And, you know, obviously, and the Groudon. Uh, Eveltal. Let's talk about Eveltal. Let's touch on that again. Um, yeah, because my last video, I made a big deal about this. I think I was the first one to really notice Eveltal taking off. Rising like the Phoenix. And it still is, so it's, it's worth bringing up again. Eveltal is still doing very, yeah, because it was like 13 bucks, I don't know, now it's up to 50, yeah, Eveltal is still going up, still doing strong, good for you, Eveltal. All right, next, Metagross, also, I talked about this in my last video, but we're just going to quickly touch on it, because it is still absolutely going up, look at that, you thought the chart on my last video was crazy, look at that chart, okay, this thing, yep, yep, this thing is even more impressive now since we last talked about it. Metagross, there you go, Temporal Forces. So, yeah, Temporal, and then now we're gonna go to Twilight Masquerade. This is the last, I think, yeah, okay, our last IR, and then we're gonna move into a bunch of random stuff, and then we're gonna wrap it up. So Chansey, Twilight Masquerade, shwee! So on the one month, yeah. So yeah, Chansey, it was a big deal when it, it let, me, let me see here, three months. So yeah, Chansey goes up to 12, 13, or whatever. It's like, cool, but now look at it. Now it's like 18, 20, near mint, 24. Let's go down here real quick. All this Japanese and Chinese. All right, right there, 20, 18. Is that English? Is this English? Okay, it looks like Japanese and the start of English. Near mint, da 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 a lot of 20s. 30, jeez, near, <laughs> 170, please. Get out of here. All right, so anyway, it's about a $20 card now. Hey, hey. All right, now uh, let's get out of the IRs. So Greninja. Okay, look. I want to bring up Pokebeard for a sec, okay? Pokebeard, I love the guy. He is absolutely my number one competition when it comes to this Pokemon investment stuff. Dude does a great job, and I think it's very intelligent for you, me, not you, to um, be aware of what other people are saying and other people are doing within my niche, okay? So I definitely, I definitely investigate other YouTubers, okay? And something Pokebeard has said a lot is that he genuinely believes this Greninja is a $70 to $80 card in the near future. Well, guess what? I think he couldn't be more wrong. I have stated multiple times 
even back when it was only $120, that I believe this Greninja, first of all, Greninja him or herself, moving forward has his best days ahead of him. Greninja is a very popular Pokemon who is becoming more popular, who over the next year, two years, three years, five years, ten years, will become a more iconic, more, you know, more chase cards of Greninja, more Greninja this, Greninja that. And I think this card is one of the absolute pillars of Greninja's future popularity, okay? I think that this Greninja SIR from the insanely difficult pull rate Twilight Masquerade, the SIRs are like pulling your teeth out, okay? Trying to pull an SIR, it's so frustrating. This Greninja and a handful of others like Magikarp or the Palain Fates Charizard and whatever else, when we look back on this era, this Greninja is gonna be one of the most fondly looked at, most expensive cards in the entire era, okay? Sorry. Poke a beard. I think you are so wrong that it's going to be worth at least double what your prediction is. I mean, it already is worth double. It might be worth triple. Let's see how the gem and ten, uh, the gem rates pan out. But one thing we know for sure is Twilight Masquerade SIRs are a pain in the ass to pull. All right. Okay. I love this card. Oh my gosh. Iron Valiant. We're just. This is the only other SIR we're bringing up today. Okay. Iron Valiant's looking good, and I like it when Iron Valiant looks good. So Iron Valiant went up and it stayed up and uh, and there you go, okay? Iron Valiant is 35 bucks and the chart looks good. That's all I'm trying to say is yeah, cuz it, it went wee 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 wee. But now if you look for the 6 months, it's at it's like kind of like 6 month all-time high in a way if you don't count its little free fall. So, I'm just saying right now cuz a lot of SIRs are giving a lot back cuz a lot of SIRs went up, whereas Iron Valiant went up and it stayed up. So there you go. Good for you Iron Valiant. Decepticons. All right, so here's your secret rare. Uh, it's from Crown Zenith. It's the Pikachu secret rare. A lot of stuff from Crown Zenith went up, and then it gave 15 to 20 percent back almost across the board, except for like Giratina. Um, but all all the while, while that was happening, this secret rare Pikachu was like, Nah, I'm just gonna keep on keep on doing my thing, okay? So secret rare Pikachu, yeah, look at this. January, February, dude, went all the way down to being a six dollar card. What is that about? <laughs> Uh -huh. A secret rare for Crown Zenith named Pikachu? You gotta be kidding. You, we all should have bought a million of these at $6. Seriously, because you would have already doubled your money. How stupid are all of us Pokemon investors? Duh. Um, uh, anyway, sorry, sorry. Uh, so we got 13 bucks. 13 bucks on secret rare Pikachu? Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, I have no idea why this is happening. I just know that it's happening. Ma sold three... Uh, what, am I, what am I saying? Full Art EX from Paradox Rift has like doubled in price just in the last whatever, okay? This card, I have one of these ready to grade. There's something about it where I was like, I don't grade full arts, who cares, right? But I was like, this muscle is perfect and I feel like people like muscle and I don't know why. Um, so I actually have one of these I'm about to grade. And so it worked out perfectly that it's doubled in price. I have no idea why, I don't think it has anything to do with playability, but look, this is just in the last, look at that six months short, shwee. <laughs> uh, but yeah, since about 610, it just pew, so double, all right? I don't know. I have no answer for you, okay? I don't know, okay? But I do know for this, this is playability. So if you have some Reg 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 Dragos you want to sell, you want to make a little money on, uh, Reg Dragos gone up like a bazillion percent in the last week. Uh, it was like a dollar card, literally, it went up to six, now it's at five, it's like up for like 500 bazillion percent, like I said. Reggie Drago. The star from Silver Tempest. Uh, yeah, sell it if you don't want it. If you got it, maybe you got a couple of them. And no, I do. <laughs> uh, and then here's the alt art, Reggie Drago V. So this one is also up. A lot of alt arts are struggling right now. Uh, whereas Reggie Drago is like, okay, it's my turn. I'm the little guy who could, the little, the little Reggie Drago that could, and he's still going up. I bought this card for twenty dollars like three days ago, and I've already made a. Uh, what, I don't know, 15% increase. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Reggie Drago, for whatever reason, is um, doing well uh, this week, whereas a lot of alt arts are tapering off or giving back. Um, so yeah, Reggie Drago, good for you. Seems like Silver Tempest, like everyone and their mom is pulling every god pack Silver Tempest. Like, my god. Uh, what's his name? DK Cards, literally. Ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. I hate DK so much. I hate you, DK. I'm so jealous. I fucking hate you. Um, all right, so what else we got? Oh, and then final. This is the last thing we're going to talk about. If you want to buy a card that's called Gengar and Mimikyu, just, just GX, just whatever. Any of them, just don't, okay? 
just stay away from anything that says Gengar and Mimikyu on it for the next month or two, maybe only a couple weeks. Um, if you have, if you own this card and you don't want it, now would be a really good time to sell it. This is the regular, this is not the full art, okay? If you own this card and you're okay with just selling it and making some money, you should probably do that right now. I'm just letting you know, okay? Same thing with this card. Do you own this card? Okay, well, if you don't want to own it, you should sell it right now. I'm just saying that. Do you want to own it? Well, don't buy it right now, okay? <laughs> Do you own this card? Do you want to sell it? You should probably sell it right now. Do you want to buy this card? Definitely do not buy this card right now. Okay? All right. There we go, guys. That is the video. Where am I at? There I am. Okay, so... Uh, uh, yeah, so the the question thing I, I told you guys to send uh, I have a future upcoming question uh, Q&A video I'm gonna do a lot of you sent me a lot of questions and I, 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 I Definitely got what I asked for I said try sending pop culture questions about video game music Whatever this maybe house of dragons maybe a little Elden ring. I don't know just ask me about anything um, But also ask Pokemon you guys sent a million questions about the weirdest most random shit ever and I need more actual Pokemon card questions So if you guys want to you know write Q&A and then in anyone of my videos comments just write QA in your question you will be featured your name your question will be featured in an upcoming video all right that's all I got guys like comment and subscribe deuces